Hello everyone, Ben Ray here from iPhone Builder. I got some really great stuff to show you today. We've been having a ton of requests come in from a lot of Esri related folks, GIS folks. I mean, 10, 15 every week coming in about this sort of scenario. So they want to actually capture a lot of data on specific assets out in the field. So what we've actually designed here is that you have your Esri structure here in step one. So we have our list of locations here and all of our, our related table here. So this actually has all the inspections for that specific table. And then they're actually plotting this directly on that map. So each one of these dots here is all the different assets that they have and they want to capture inspections on that. So from the Esri application, we're actually calling iPhone Builder in step three. We're passing the unique identifier for this point across into the iPhone application, so ID one, two, three, four. Now what people are going to do then is actually use all of our advanced forms, related tables, all the JavaScript, skip logic, capture all your data on that. Once they submit this record, it automatically goes up into the cloud and pushes data directly into this inspection sub. Now the key here is that it's related through ID one, two, three, four. So we keep you can keep repeating this process. So go in again, go to your next asset, inspect it, use everything, then sync up, and then it's all pushed directly into this inspection sub form. So now I'm going to go into my device and show you how this works out in the field. Moving on to the device side of things, you'll see I have Esri's application opened up here with the map on here, and it has all the different assets. So I'm going to select any of these assets here. I'm going to see all the high-level details about this asset, and then a URL here at the bottom. Now this URL is key because it's actually calling the iForm application and opening that subform layer. So I tap here and open this. It calls the iForm application here. Once it opens up, it creates a brand new record and populates some details here. So we're actually populating the object ID and that is the, the asset ID that we have. And then we have a drain number, the inspector, last inspected date, and any other field. So I'm just gonna run through here and capture a photo, photograph here. I'm going to say to this inspection pass or this inspection fail. If it failed, we have to enter a reason for the failure. So I'm gonna say it was broken cap. And then I just wanna sign off here on this, this inspection. So that was one single inspection for this manhole in this scenario. Now once it syncs this data up, it's actually gonna push it directly into the cloud and then update that subform layer on the Esri side and it's gonna add one new inspection record to, to that layer. Now we can go right directly back into Collector and repeat this entire process. And we hope you're just as excited as we are about some of the new integrations between iPhone Builder and Esri. Look for much more coming soon, thanks.